In Deuteronomy 19, Moses turns his attention to the civil laws that were written to govern daily life in Israel. These laws highlight three important principles for understanding God's idea of civil justice. The first law is concerning the cities of refuge and the need for fair treatment of the accused. The second is concerning property, and Moses warns not to move anyone's property boundaries, which were their God-given inheritance. The third law was to establish a minimum threshold of witness for convicting someone of a crime. But what does all this mean for us? These three laws show us that God knows the nature of man and he is deeply concerned with the conduct of his people. They are reminded in chapter 19 that they only have this land because of God. It says in verse 14, when you arrive in the land, the Lord your God is giving you as your special possession. It was their special possession granted to them by God. God was giving them this instruction to remind them to be good stewards of not only the land he had granted them, but the people in it. And just as he instructed the Israelites, we too are instructed to be good stewards of all he has blessed us with, including his people. 1 Peter 4, 8 through 10 says, and above all things have fervent love for one another and for love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. We serve a just, merciful, and gracious God, but he also knows our hearts and he knows we need laws and we need instruction, we need boundaries in order to help us to be good stewards. But aren't you glad today that even when we mess up, we must still face the consequences for our actions, but he is always there to be our refuge.